Hi, I'm Liz Noble. I'm a qualified naturopath here in Sydney, Australia. And today we're talking about the symptoms of Epstein-Barr, the virus that causes mononucleosis or glandular fever. Now when you're first diagnosed with uh, Epstein-Barr, symptoms tend to be the sore throat, uh, swollen glands, a high fever and fatigue. These are the four symptoms which are the cornerstones of this illness and they're usually seen in the acute stage of the disease. Now some people may get uh, other symptoms as well as these. They can get respiratory involvement, so problems like a sinus infection or a runny nose. They can get a cough or in severe cases secondary infections like pneumonia or bronchitis um, may develop. Some patients get liver symptoms. Um, often the liver is targeted by the Epstein-Barr virus and there can be pain or discomfort in the liver area below the right ribs. Um, there may be nausea, uh, vomiting, poor appetite, there may be headaches or migraines and in severe cases a yellow tinge develops um, on the skin and on the eyes. Now um, with children, um, children below the age of about four or five tend not to develop severe symptoms. Often they don't even get the infection picked up, it seems a cold or a flu. Um, if kids do get um, symptoms, they tend more to be the high fever, abdominal pain and a viral rash. Children again tend to bounce back pretty quickly. They don't go into that chronic long-term infective state. Now patients who get chronic um, Epstein-Barr virus tend more to get the ongoing fatigue, muscle aches and pains, muscle weakness, dizzy spells or fainting. Often the condition is reclassified as chronic fatigue syndrome when it goes beyond about six months but is still triggered off by the Epstein-Barr virus. Now in elderly patients, um, people who tend to get the virus later in life tend to have more pronounced symptoms. Again, in the very uh, elderly patients, often fever is absent, but they still get the ongoing fatigue and muscle involvement. Now, if you've been diagnosed with Epstein-Barr virus, there are ways to treat it naturally through diet and nutrients and herbs and uh, liver cleansing, etc. All these are outlined in my ebook. If you need help on how to uh, get rid of this virus in your body, please refer to my ebook or drop me an email. I wish you best in your recovery and um, thank you for your time.